Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this video series is about how to create a virtual network inside of VirtualBox. In the first part of this video series, I'm going to create an Ubuntu web server using Ubuntu 13.10 Saucy Salamander. The outcomes for part one of the virtual network video would be to download Ubuntu 13.10 server, configure VirtualBox for Ubuntu 13.10, Install Ubuntu 13.10 in VirtualBox as a LAMP, which basically it's a software stack of Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, and which makes it into a web server, and then update Ubuntu 13.10. Requirements for this video series would be enough random access memory in your computer to run, one, the virtual server, in this case we've got the one we're creating right now, another virtual desktop, and also your host operating system. It all depends how much memory each one takes. So you're looking at least, uh, I would say about four gigabytes of memory would be uh, minimum. You, you could probably get by with 2.5 or 3. However, uh, I don't think most computers are configured. Uh, they go, normally are configured from 2 to 4 gigabytes. 2 and then the next step up is 4 gigabytes. So basically you're going to need about 4 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, some host hardware that supports virtualization. The host should have a multiprocessor, CPU, or central processing unit. Because you're running a number, you're actually running three different computers at the same time. For this to work at any type of speed, uh, you pretty much need a multiprocessor. And then an internet network connection. Additional info for this section would be the URL or Uniform Resource Locator for getting the Ubuntu download. And of course, I have a disclaimer, although I've researched this and made sure that it works on my computer, I can't verify that it'll work for every computer. The first step in creating an Ubuntu 13.10 web server is to download the web server file from Ubuntu. In this case, it'd be www.ubuntu.com download server. Here you've got two choices, Ubuntu 12.04 LTS or Ubuntu 13.10. I'm going to pick 13.10, but 12.04 would be this pretty much the same. So we'll click here, and we're going to save the file. I'll click OK, and what I usually make is I create a place in the download file directory on where to uh, download it. And in my case, I have a separate downloads directory on the C drive that everyone can access. Downloads. But you can, wherever you, you, you create your own file wherever, however you want to do it, Ubuntu. And then I'm going to make a new folder and just simply call it Ubuntu 13.10. And then I'm going to open that up. Open. And this is where I'm going to save. Now, depending on what speed you have, that will determine how fast it's get saved. In this case I've got 30 minutes left and not just going to go through through the video as far as the 30 minutes concerned. I'll come back when it's pretty much downloaded and, and then I'll, I'll start setting up the virtual machine. Here we're going down to 18 seconds, 16 seconds, 6 seconds, 5 seconds. Download is almost complete. 1 second. And usually when it says 1 second it takes about 10 seconds. Okay, green arrow, download is complete. The next step would be to configure uh, VirtualBox for the Ubuntu 13.10. In this section, I'm going to configure a virtual guest for Ubuntu 13.10 server, web server. So I'm going to click on New. I'm going to call it uh, LAMP Ubuntu 13, I'm sorry, SS for Saucy Salamander. 01. The LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And that's a package that pretty much would come together to create this web server. Of course, the operating system would be a Linux system. And for we're going to pick Ubuntu 64 because that's what we downloaded. Click Next. 512 megabytes. That's enough for our, our machine for our demonstration purposes. Click Next, and we're going to create a virtual hard drive now. Create, and we're going to pick the default 
because that was works best with just a plain virtual box. Click Next and dynamically allocated means that as you add more files to your virtual server then the storage will grow or your hard drive on this virtual guest will grow. Fixed size means that it will stay the same. Fixed size is a little bit quicker but dynamically allocated means you using less of your uh, host machine hard disk. Click Next. I like to give it a size of 20 gigabytes. Remember it only uses as much as your files will store. Click Create. And so here we are and I'm just going to bring it down here so it's not up in my group with uh, Precise Pangolin. So here it is. So let's go to System. And one thing, if you if you've got, uh, like I say, this is 512 megabytes. That should be enough for a web server, for what I'm gonna for the demonstration purposes. Processor, if you want to make it work a little bit faster, you and you've got extra CPUs. I give it two. If not, don't worry about it. It's, it'll still work fine with one CPU. Click OK here. Storage. Now this is where you click on this empty. Well, click on Live CD, and this is where you're going to choose a virtual CD, DVD, disk file, and in this case, you're going to go to wherever your Ubuntu 13.10 server that you downloaded. Highlight it. In this case, it's server AMD64.ISO. Click Open, and then that's OK. And Network, I'm going to pick NAT. If I was creating a virtual network here, I, I would create the virtual network and then hook it up. But for instructional purposes, it's easier to hook up the uh, virtual network later and then kind of explain how everything works together. So for this case, it's net. That way you can access external the web and get your upgrades for your Ubuntu server. Click OK. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to put a chair folder or anything else. Now that the Ubuntu web server is configured. Let's just go here, right click here, and click on start. And up comes the uh, Oracle VM Virtual Box, and I'm going to pick English. You've got uh, other options for whatever language you wish. Also, when you're configuring for the language, you also have to configure the keyboard. In this case, it's pretty much set up for English, so I'm just going to click hit enter. And you'll see it says install Ubuntu server, and that's where going with this. I guess I may have to hit enter again. I don't know for sure if I would had to hit enter again or not. But uh, so there we go for English. Again I'm going to hit enter. And if you look down here it says tab moves at the bottom of the screen. Tab moves space selects. I'm going to actually now I've lost my mouse one of the things you can do is the right control and then N. It was control N and that gives you session information. You won't be ma making any things and that will get your mouse back. United States, I'm just going to click and again you notice I lost my mouse but don't worry I can hit control N and get it back. The right control N. And I'm not going to have it detect the keyboard. Click no. English US again. English US again and just let it go do its thing and I'll be dropping in and out uh, of this video but I'll show every new screen that comes up which makes it boring if you've done this more often but if you haven't done it then you'll see you know every little step so it's detecting the network hardware and that's where you uh, uh, by using the NAT that's all set up for you the host name here, if you, we called it LAMP, Ubuntu, SS01, Saucy Salamander 01. I'm going to hit tab for continue. And the full name for the new user, I'm just going to put in Mike and just hit enter. Username Mike, hit enter. Password, continue. 
password continue encrypt your home directory I'm, in this case I'm going to say no if you're setting this up on the uh, laptop I've had some problems with that but as far as uh, virtual box it seems to work okay and I'm going to take accept the default time zone you've got your choice however you want to do it I'm going to click yes I'm going to just take the default method use entire disk and set up LVM or logical volume manager hit enter select disk this is the default disk that is created enter here we're going to have to hit shift tab or actually tab and hit yes so it goes to the yes and we're going to write the changes to the disk I'm going to accept it and just hit enter here I'm going to hit tab to get over to the yes and hit enter so it's going to ask you for some proxy information in this case I'm not using a proxy so I'm just going to hit enter for continue You have a choice here, uh, no automatic updates, or you can have them installed automatically. Now, manage system with landscape, this is a cost. I won't be picking that, but I'm, I'm going to just install security updates automatically. Just because I have so many virtual machines I play around with. Here we've got some choices to make, and you have a choice of software to install. A space select, so I'm going to select open SSH server and then the LAMP server which is Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP and once I've got both of those selected I can hit enter and my LAMP server my Ubuntu web server is going to pretty much self install now I highly recommend you set a password for your MySQL database especially if you've got any, you're going to put any uh, sensitive information in there so of course I want to create a password Should probably do a different password than you did for the login finally one of the last things you're going to have to choose is uh, to install the word install the grub bootloader and I'm just going to let go to default the master boot record click yes now it says the installation is complete so click continue we're going to have to shut it down and uh, one more thing that has to happen is going to have to update it it's shut down now it's restarting now this install took about uh, 17 minutes on uh, Windows 7 computer and the guest operating supports mouse pointer integration and I'm going to log in so once I'm logged in I'm going to up get all the updates get a list of all the updates or have the computer get a list, list of all the updates and then I'm going to upgrade it and it goes out to uh, Ubuntu uh, archives and gets a complete list and then I'm going to do an upgrade of course you notice you have to use the sudo it gives you a list of how much uh, additional space will be used and I'm just going to click yes okay now you have an updated and uh, hopefully working web server Ubuntu 13.10 LAMP web server. The next video in this series is going to show you how to hook this up to a virtual network, a VirtualBox virtual network. Check that the web server actually works by using a virtual desktop. So thank you and we'll actually shut it down here with sudo, if I can spell that right, power off.